Okay guys, so in this video, it's time for AMD Athlon XP. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I want to take a close look at this HP PC. I picked it up from a second-hand store a very long time ago, and I wanted to make this video for also a very long time. And the reason I picked this up is very simple. I needed some parts. Here on the channel, I wanted to review old stuff, old hardware, and finding separate parts can be a pain in the butt. Nevertheless, we're going to get two disk drives, a DVD-ROM, an HP CD writer, but the specs itself are very interesting. It is an AMD Adlon XP 2200+. It has a 60GB hard drive, it also has an NVIDIA GeForce 4MX420 graphics card in it. So what we're going to do with this PC, with this AMD Athlon XP, we're going to tear down it, we're going to clean it up. But before we're going to do all those things, we're going to take a close look at Windows XP in 2021. At the front we're having this cover, yeah that doesn't really work anymore, but it contains two extra USB ports. So we're going to use it for connecting my mouse and it's going to be interesting, I can tell you that. At the top cover we're having here, yeah, we can storage and CD, and oh man, it's very filthy. Uh, Alright, so and at the back we're going to get a normal power supply. I'm personally not a big fan of these, let's say, pre-built PCs. I'm hoping I can get some good parts out of it. Oh, old school PS2 connection, some extra USB at the back. And they have this cover over here that says don't remove. Because we're going to use the NVIDIA connector, of course. I will try to hook it up with DVI, let's see if it's going to work on my monitor all right so let's open it up let's remove the side cover of the pc and let's take a close look inside oh this is going to be a freaking dust nightmare i can tell you that already this pc haven't been used for a very long time and haven't been cleaned for ages oh man the old school stuff it have, comes with this very nice outtake for the getting the heat from the cpu outside of the casing oh boy old school baby yeah here we're having the graphics card, looks all very interesting and dust like always. But I did notice it's a very packed up system. We have a lot of extra cards, a lot of stuff I'm not going to use anymore. The only thing I'm going to use is the internet connection, but that's it. So let's connect it and let's see if it's even booting up. Alright, so what I mentioned, I'm going to connect it with the DVI connection. I have a VGA cable laying around, but too lazy to search for one. So let's hook it up, let's give the Simpson juice and let's see what happens. And oh boy, this thing sounds like a freaking vacuum cleaner. Okay, so let's power on the display and let's see if I'm going to get any signal. Okay, so far so good. We're having Windows XP installed on the machine. Oh, and I didn't boot it up before making this video. I just recorded it and just wanted to show you what are we going to get today. Okay, so Windows XP is working. The, both the drives are working by having their own life. As you can see, it's not doing very well. I don't know what's happening, but we need to double check if these are working. Okay, this thing seems to be stuck now. Yep, all right. They're especially made for HP. Come on, come out. Yeah, here he is. So I totally forgot what a hassle it was to install your USB devices. Yeah, seriously, I was just messing around with it for quite a long time to get my keyboard and my mouse working. And I tried a couple of keyboards. And in the end, I needed to boot up with a PS2 keyboard, really old school. But after messing around with all the settings, I finally got it to work. Finally. Oh man, so it was a hustle getting this freaking mouse to work. But finally I found one that's going to get recognized with this prehistoric freaking PC. Oh yeah, Pinnacle Studio. Old school baby. This is how we added Becky today. I actually used Windows Movie Maker. I love Windows Movie Maker. So is it Windows Movie Maker still on this thing? Let's find out. I think it's not. Microsoft. Windows Live. Oh boy. Oh yeah, look at this. Here he is. Woo! I use this program so much. <laughs> oh yeah. So I must say when coming back to this program, it's just really cool to see. Let me know in the comments, did you use this Windows Movie Maker a lot? Or maybe you're still using it, who knows? Mind wiping. Oh, card game. But still, it's time for some 3B Pinball. Alright guys, so let's play a little bit of Virtual Pinball on Windows XP. Ok, 
Okay guys, so let's try to play some Street of Rage Remake on Windows XP with the AMD Adlon. <laughs> it does boot up. But the slow like it is what I can already expect it. And with an old school PC we need to <laughs> Yeah. So let's play a little bit baby and let's have some fun. Who care? Whatever. Okay, before we're going to rip this thing apart, let's check out some Mugen, just for fun. It struggles big time, but I think we managed to play it a little bit on this old school AMD machine. Mugen was not really demanding. But I'm guessing the main problem I'm having, I'm loading it up from on the USB drive. Yeah. Loading times take freaking forever. Oh, here it comes. Ah, that's crashes. Old school, baby. <laughs> Alright, guys. So we're going to do this teardown. I'm going to be very careful because I don't want to damage anything. I want to use a lot of these parts for my test bench. Simply what I'm going to do in the future here on the channel. I want to do more like a test bench with old graphics cards. So I need to have some main boards in combination with CPUs and good memory. And I will give you a quick overview when we're done with the teardown. What kind of parts we're going to get. So the first thing we need to do. We're going to remove the PCI cards. And that also includes the AGP NVIDIA card. Okay, let's see. We can remove all of them. So the first thing that comes out is the graphic card and ooh, the vent itself is completely burned out. That's a big bomber. Oi, 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 oi. So that's what we're going to get with old graphic cards. We need to replace this in a future video. Replacing cool elements so we can use it and do put it on a test bench. But that for now, all right. I'm happy to have this card. And it's quite an interesting one. We'll take a close look at it later. Quite interesting choice how to basically get all of the heat out of the case. Oh man, this thing is freaking dust. No, I'm not going to use this thing. I have a lot of these fans laying around, so not with the dust cover, but with fans itself. So I'm going to throw that one away. Here you can see that the main board. I'm very pleased to see that it isn't, I'm guessing it isn't a special board that is made for the HP PCs, but hmm, quite interesting as you can see over here. All right, so let's move on with the teardown. Okay, we're going to remove all the EDA cables. All right, so let's remove these first. Be very gentle with all the connectors. All right, so let's remove this. This is for the hard drive and the floppy drive. And then we're going to remove them for the CD and DVD drives. All right, so let's remove the bracket. I do like the way how it is made. As you can see, we're having now the floppy drive and the hard disk. All right, next up, the power supply. Man, this thing is freaking heavy. Feels like a freaking brick, but it's still very compact. Hmm, interesting. All right, so in the next step, we're going to remove all the cables that are attached to the main board because I can't disassemble it like this. It's going to be one big cable nightmare. So let's take my time and let's remove it all. I'm going to be very gentle with these because they can be fire gel, the old school EA cables, but I'm going to need these in the future builds. The main board they are using in this machine is quite interesting. An NVIDIA Enforce main board. And as I can see so far, all the capacitors are in good condition. So I'm very pleased to see that it's just a full size main board. Okay, so we're done with all the cables so far. Just let's remove all the screws so we can lift out the main board. And we can basically put it in the box with all the other parts. And we can finally freaking clean this thing because it looks freaking awful. Oh man, it was a little bit stuck, so it's really hard to get it out. But finally, here he is, the beauty, with the AMD Adlon XP. I'm very happy with this. Okay, now the last part, let's remove the drives. The drives are an interesting story. We have a couple of screws that we need to remove. On each side, and then we can basically 
pull it out. By the way, never forget the EO shielding. That is something we're going to need. But nevertheless, that we're going to remove outside of the camera because that's going to be very annoying. Normally they're going to be clicked in, but this thing, I need to bash it out. So let's remove the second cover and let's remove the DVD drives. But quite interesting to see that these are more specially made for HP back in the day and are the gray DVD drives. So don't know if I'm happy with it, but they will come in handy with an installation or with a new build I'm going to do in the future. All right, guys, so this is what we're going to get for the loot for today. I'm very pleased with the result. I picked it up for a couple of euros. So for this HP PC, I didn't have this idea that it's going to be a good deal. But in the end, when you're looking at all the parts, it's just a great deal. I love this main board, special Enforce main board. I do will do some more research in the future. and will make a separate video about when building a new PC. But I needed to have more like a main board with a good CPU for the old school AGP Tash Bench. And I can say, this will do. So we're going to use this 60 gigabyte Samsung spin point, 60 gigabyte drive. Very pleased with it because hey, it's EDA. So that is something I want to have in my collection and I'm going to need it in future builds. So this thing, this is a very interesting one. It's a bummer about the fan because this is an FX 5500. Nvidia from the brand point of view and we take a close look at the specs here on the second you can see it this thing has 256 MB DDR so it is quite and powerful it has a lot of big potential when it comes to playing some games interesting to see it in HP PC okay so I'm very happy with the main board I mentioned a couple of times is that we're going to get two sets of RAM I already have some couple of them on stock okay so this is a 256 MB DDR 266 megahertz and it's very surprising to see there are two of them so 512 mb for a main board like this that is more than enough it's basically a different brand so i'm guessing they upgraded it in the past so very happy to have it it's very nice to have an addition to this main board all right so let's remove the cooling element i already need to do it because i need to clean everything and also do adding some new paste to the cooling element itself but this is just the AMD XP. I did own the 2000 model back today, but this is even a faster model. So that is surprising, but also very happy with it. Because I think it's when you're having a test bench, it's super important to have a very good CPU. So this will communicate perfectly with more like the higher end stuff that I want to test out on this bench or this main board. And everything is freaking filthy. But okay, so it also came with this 200 watt power supply, I'm saying it correctly. Uh, I'm not going to use it anymore because I'm going to use way powerful, better power supplies. I have acquired some different ones on stock. For now, just we'll keep it in the collection, but I'm not going to use it in the near future. Okay guys, so this is what we're going to get with the PC that I just bought and I'm very happy with the results because I needed a lot of parts for future videos. Let me know in the comments what kind of PCs did you own back in today. I want to thank you for watching. Consider subscribing here as well. Become one of the Wicked family. Well, because we're going to do a lot of PC related stuff in the future if it's me. Let me know, do you like this content? Because I have so much stuff I can show you and can tell you. Nevertheless, become one of the Wicked family. Hit the little bell and I will see you in the next video.